applications of eddy currents. Induction furnace. In an induction furnace, very high temperature can be produced by producing large eddy currents. The high frequency eddy currents are preferred because of the reason that the heating effect of current is proportional to the square of the frequency of the current. Speedometer In the speedometer of an automobile, a small magnet is geared to the main shaft of the vehicle and it rotates according to the speed of the vehicle. The magnet is mounted in an aluminium cylinder with the help of hair springs. When the magnet rotates, it produces eddy currents in the drum. Due to the effect of eddy currents, the drum tries to oppose the motion of the rotating magnet. In turn, the drum experiences a torque and gets deflected through certain angle. A pointer attached to the drum moves over a calibrated scale, which directly indicates the speed of the vehicle. Induction Motors A rotating magnetic field is produced by means of two single phase currents. A metallic rotor placed inside the rotating magnetic field starts rotating due to large eddy currents produced in it. These motors are commonly used in fans. Dead Beat Galvanometers The oscillations of a moving coil galvanometer generally take a long time to die out. Now if the coil of the galvanometer is wind on a metallic frame, made of copper or aluminium, the movement of the coil come to rest in a very short time. That is, galvanometer can be made dead beat. This will happen due to the production of eddy currents in the metallic frame. Electromagnetic damping Here, the oscillations of a moving coil galvanometer take a long time to die out. The oscillations of the coil of a galvanometer can also be stopped by short-circuiting the two ends of the coil through a tapping key. When the key is pressed, the coil circuit is closed and the eddy currents are produced due to the motion of the coil inside the magnetic field produced by the magnet of the galvanometer. Due to Lenz's law, the direction of eddy currents is such that it opposes the oscillations of the coil. Diathermy In the natural sciences, the term diathermy means electrically induced heat and is commonly used for muscle relaxation. It is also a method of heating tissue electromagnetically for therapeutic purposes in medicines. Electric diathermy uses high frequency alternating electric or magnetic fields, sometimes with no electrode or device contact to the skin, to induce gentle deep tissue heating by induction or eddy currents. In this treatment, no tissue is ordinarily damaged. Energy meters An electric meter or energy meter is a device that measures the amount of electrical energy consumed by a residence, business or an electrically powered device. Electric meters are typically calibrated in billing units the most common one being the kilowatt hour. Periodic readings of electric meters establishes billing cycles and energy used during a cycle. In energy meters, the armature coil carries a metallic aluminium disc 
which rotates between the poles of a pair of permanent horseshoe magnets. As the armature rotates, the current induced in the disc tends to oppose the motion of the armature coil. Due to this breaking effect, the deflection is proportional to the energy consumed. After knowing the various applications of eddy currents, we are going to see some undesirable effects of eddy currents. Undesirable effects of eddy currents As the resistance of the conductor is very low, due to which the magnitudes of eddy currents produced is quite large. As such, considerable amount of heat is produced in the conductor due to Joule's heating effect. If the large eddy currents are allowed to produce in the core of a transformer, dynamo, etc., it may produce undesirable effects. Now let us see how this effect can be minimized in transformer. The eddy currents in the core of transformer are reduced by making use of a laminated core. The thick core of a transformer is formed by joining identical iron strips together after insulating them from each other by coating them with varnish. Since the resistance of an iron strip will be much larger than the resistance of the thick core, only very feeble eddy currents are produced in the iron strips and the transformer is saved from getting heated.